So we have our post fly box of June right here. Let's just jump right into it. Open this guy up. First thing you always see, nice little pam uh, pamphlet. It's always kind of cool to go through here. The endless summer is going on right now, so that's always cool to try and get involved in. Really fun. And the next thing you always see is your nice little quality flies right there, which, ooh, those look really good. I think we'll get onto some stuff today on those. The next cool item we have, or the first cool item we have today is a, it looks like a phone protector. Yeah, it's a phone protector, but it's also on a little tether right here, if you can see that. I'm gonna open this guy up. I'm gonna use my, my crappy phone for a demonstration. Okay. I'm to put the shot over there. Oh, something just shot. Cool. Looks like a, just a normal tether. That's cool, okay. Let's figure this out. It looks like this comes off as such. That goes like that, maybe. I think it goes, that, that tethers onto that. No, here, do this, do that. And then you take this guy out. <laughs> this is when you guys are like commenting like, oh, it's so much easier to do it this way and this way. And you know what, I love that. That's why you guys are here. It looks like this. Ooh, that's like really nice quality stuff right there. It's a nice stretchy, rugged plastic and then there's just beefy beefy hardware right here that's not gonna that's not going anywhere so for reference i have a galaxy s10 i know i'm a little out of date you know not hip anymore not not like the cool kids anymore let's put this on the correct way Ooh, ooh i actually kind of like this and we actually just got something that i'll probably actually use this when i'm on it a lot that'll be next that should be the next video that's a nice little surprise for you guys though so roughly i mean i just put this on rather fast and i'm ocd so it's kind of bothering me wouldn't normally do it like this and it looks like this just goes on to here or no i think i did it wrong but you get the concept this is going to hold your phone while it's in your pocket so if you bend over or something in your waders this isn't going to fall in the water this it says is four to seven inches so most of the times that's not going to be in the water. And if, if it does hit the water, it's just going to bounce right back up. It's not going to sink to the bottom or anything. So I actually really like this. This is actually kind of nice. I'll probably actually start using this because my pockets are always loose. It's always annoying. Next up, little gadget. You have a clip-on retractor, which is, again, very nice, especially for somebody like me who I have like 50,000 nail clippers laying around the house. I can never find anything. I can never find my retractors forceps or anything so this is nice doesn't go crazily far which is always nice i hate the ones that go like two miles far you don't need that this seems to only go like maybe that's like a foot foot and a half right there so that's actually very nice i'll probably put this on my backpack you can put this on your loop or your uh, belt loops any stuff like that it's really nice and again seems like pretty good quality i mean I'm not strong at all, so this probably isn't testing anything, but yeah. <laughs> Then up next, you get your leaders, which is always, in every single one of these videos, I always say the same thing. It tells you exactly what pound test line it is. You go on the back, 2X is gonna be right here. You're gonna go down. Let's see if the camera wants to focus today. And the verdict is, oh, it doesn't, so that's cool. So it's gonna tell you exactly what it is on the front. You go on the back, there's 1X through 7X. You find yours, 2X is going to be seven and a half pounds. You know exactly how strong it is. It tells you exactly how to tie it, which is nice even if you're a beginner, you're new, you've been fly fishing for 90 years. Always nice to have a little demonstration. I always love that, it's cool. Up next, you have the price card. But most importantly in all these boxes, let's be honest, are these cool little stickers. <laughs> stickers are always cool. This is like a trout mailbox. That's kind of cool. I'll probably, like always, put this on my laptop. You know, swag. And then this, like I always say, just shows you exactly how much you're saving. I promise you if you buy a post fly box, you're going to save a lot in the long run. I honestly have probably stopped buying flies from anywhere else. I literally, this is, these are going to be my flies for the month. <laughs> 
So the flies, which is just these guys, are $49. The phone retractor was $20, so on, so on. We'll maybe get a little bit more into this later. But let's get into the flies. So mostly it looks like this is a top water slash subsurface box this much, which is really cool because in the summer, especially in Florida, these fish are all triggered up and they love hitting top water stuff. So you looks like you have like two like classic like bumblebee style uh, poppers, which are always cool. You have what looks like a uh, little hopper right there, which is always nice. This guy right here looks really juicy. It looks like a nymph mixed with like a woolly bugger, which is really cool. And then you have these, which to me looked a lot like little mini gurglers. And if you've ever thrown around a gurgler, they're really freaking cool. They're kind of a subsurface. They are very good for like fish that are aggressive, but not really willing to commit. I don't know if that makes any sense, but trust me. <laughs> So that's that little dude. I'm really interested to throw this guy around. Let's see if the camera wants to focus today. Come on, focus. No? Okay, cool. Thanks, Cannon. But today's gonna be a little bit different because now we're gonna go fish. See you there. Oh! Oh my god! Come on. There we go. Numero uno. Whoop. Oh, come on. <laughs> Nice little dude right there. Razor sharp teeth, so they're definitely feeding on little bait fish in here. Pop this little dude out. Nice little fish right there. Mwah. Oh, that was dirty. Oh, 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 oh baby. Oh. Wow, you know they smacked it when you freaking get the fly all wrapped around you when they miss it. Oh, that was dirty. Oh, jeez, smacked it. Oh, there goes one right there. Is that tiny little dude? Oh, I don't want him. That was a dirty bite. Oh no, Pat, please just get in the way of the camera. Please just, uh, just stand right all up in the camera. Oh, there goes a bite, there goes a bite, there goes a bite. Is he on? Oh, he's on. <laughs> I promise you this was not the guy that bit it the first time, but we will take him. Gotta show love to the little dudes, right? Here we go. Number two, on the little cricket. Whoop. Oh, there goes one. There goes one right there. Oh, oh my God, damn it right before that storm comes in. Oh, we're about to get peed on, come on. Come on. GoPro was not running, but we just hooked into this little dude. Oh, actually a pretty nice sized fish for this pond. There we go, fish number three, four, I think. On that white little, what I would call a white little gurgler. I don't know the technical name for that, but nice little fly. Nice little fish right there. Kind of deformed. Still pretty fish though. Mm -hmm. Number three or four. Boop. So we are going to change to the black version of that. See if we can hit anything on that. And then we still have the two lures to go. The storm's kind of rolling in. So we'll see how long we can stay out. Oh my God. <laughs> oh man, he was right at the bank too. That fish was literally right at the bank. Guys, I might count that fish just because I think we're about to start getting peed on. And I think I might tie on that little uh, 
wooly bugger. Just because I want to throw that because I don't really want to end this video with just getting peed on. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We are going to change this little wooly bugger real quick before we start getting rained on. So just to be, just to go over, caught a fish on one, two, three, got blew, blown up on that and we just missed the fish on this. So technically in my book, I would say we've been having a pretty good day, but we're gonna throw this little guy on and I would expect this to get hit. I mean, it's small, it's bright, it's neon bright. I don't know if it's gonna float or sink, honestly. It has these little bead eyes, so it should sink, but that looks pretty tasty to me. Come on, neon little freaking fly out there in the middle of a juicy pond. Somebody's gotta pick it up. Let's see that thing from here. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I had a little flash. There he is, gotcha. Oh, perfect. Oh, no, I'm counting that. Nope, you guys saw him, I saw him. I caught his ass in 1080 AP or HP HD cinema 4K, whatever you wanna call it. We caught that fish, I'm counting that. The way the fishing's been lately, I'm counting that fish. I'll cast it out one more time. Whatever happens, happens. But when I bring this fly in, we're switching to a, that little popper. And I'm counting that fish. I don't care what you guys say. Hey, be nice. <laughs> I saw him too. I saw him take it. I set the hook perfectly. There you are. There you are. Yeah, come back. Yeah, round two. Yeah, who wins now? Yeah, what's up? Yes, fish. Go like, subscribe, and comment. Yeah, tell your friends. Tell your friends about me. Tell you. Oh, ew. Oh, God. That was disgusting. Oh, God. That was. Oh, I didn't like that feeling at all. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I feel violated. <laughs> oh, ew. 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 <laughs> My finger literally. Oh, God. Ew. Has that ever happened to any of you guys? My finger literally just went through this bass's freaking bottom jaw. Oh, my God. Oh, I got to get you off. Ew, we are way too personal and close right now, dude. Oh, my God. Ugh, come on. Get off. Okay, that's fish number five, I think. Right there. So, my f finger literally went right through that hole. So, that's disgusting. Um, Yeah, see you later, Steve. Oh, God. Which one, which one should I go with? This one? Yeah, this one? Okay, we'll go with this one. Thanks, bud. There we go. Hello. Okay. That was a nice blow up. There we go. One, two, three. Ooh, yes. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, come on. I can never, I can't hold any of the fish in here. Like, if there's one thing I need to practice, it's that apparently. Absolutely choked it too. I haven't really shown any of these fish. Look at it. Absolutely just smoked that thing right there. I mean, and this is honestly a fly. I would feel pretty confident throwing in rivers for like nice size, smally, honestly bigger size bass than these guys. So just because a fly is small, don't really judge it on that nice size fish on a tiny little fly cool stuff let's let this guy go see you eh, frank yeah he looked like a frank before he splashed me and got me all wet cool story frank oh i mean come on that's such a juicy looking spot There you go. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, why did you do that? That's not nice. <laughs>